हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs for 4th and 5th of january session will be quite interesting so do pay attention till the end let's start first is national affairs n r l p s and r l p s they have recently signed an mou with b r e c international what is n r l p s n r l p s is your national rural livelihood promotion society this is an autonomous body that comes under the ministry of rural development right and they have recently signed an mou with b a r c international correct and this mou was signed for the inclusion of the poorest of the poor under the deen dayal antyodaya yojana national rural livelihood mission and we all know this day nrlm this is a flagship poverty alleviation program that comes under ministry of rural development correct then under this remember day nrlm dedicated to universal and inclusive mobilization they have already mobilized 100 million rural people households they have provided them with various job opportunities also correct now the focus will be on uplifting lakpati didis lakpati didis right now what is this lakpati didis under this lakpati didis remember those women's mel or multiple women's be a part of self help group or individual women's they will be targeted so that they can earn 1 lakh rupees per annum right under this initiative lakpati didis is basically to help women earn a income of 1 lakh rupees per annum right then there is your samaveshi ajivika program what is this and remember this uplifting of these lakpatis or these women to become lakpati that means earning 1 lakh rupees per annum this will be done through this samaveshi ajivika program this will help them to build self confidence social inclusion and prosperity through inclusive livelihoods at the last mile then the program will introduce holistic productive inclusion strategies to improve the lives of the excluded population and this will adapt the globally tested and proven graduation approach to the day nrl program to reach households facing difficulties benefiting from the self help group right take a note of this correct so here nrlps they sign nmo n nmou uh, mou with brac international for the upliftment of the poor next next is which year was declared as the year of national civilian by indian navy year of naval civilian by indian navy year of naval 
civilians it was declared by indian navy now the question asked here is what which was the year it is the year current year that is 2024 right this is to basically focus on enhancing administration efficiency and the well-being of the civilian workforce correct then remember for the year 2024 the major focus will be maximizing the administrative efficiencies launching various digital initiatives also the uh, basically the technology that will be used will be in-house that will they will be made in india correct these things will be taken into look here then for indian navy who is the chief of naval staff admiral r hari kumar headquarters in new delhi right so here you can see indian navy declared year 2024 as the year of naval civilians moving on next mnre that is ministry of new and renewable energy issued guidelines for pilot projects for utilizing green hydrogen in the shipping and steel sector i repeat ministry of new and renewable energy released the guidelines of the scheme of pilot projects on the use of green hydrogen in the shipping sector that comes under the national green hydrogen mission the total budget outlay for the implementation of the scheme till the financial year 25 26 is 115 crore rupees on 2nd of february mnre released the guidelines for the scheme for pilot projects on the use of green hydrogen in the steel sector that is under national green hydrogen mission see green hydrogen we have discussed multiple times it is a fuel that does not release any carbon on burning instead it releases water vapors correct then there are multiple types of hydrogen such as your blue hydrogen then orange hydrogen yellow hydrogen red hydrogen but these all kinds of hydrogen and these basically green blue orange red yellow these hydrogens are defined by the way it is hydrogen is processed right so these hydrogens release carbon on their burning but less amount of carbon is released but green hydrogen it does not release any hydrogen on its burning correct then under this National Green Hydrogen Mission, our Ministry of New and Renewable Energy will take multiple pilot projects in the shipping sector and steel sector that aims to replace the fossil fuel, correct, by green hydrogen. Next, MHA, Ministry of Home Affairs, instituted Kendriya Grih Matantri Dakshta Padak by merging four medals i repeat ministry of home affairs recently named a new medal by combining four existing medals which were the four existing medals that were combined union home minister special operation medal union home ministers medal for excellence in investigation third asadharan asuchana kushalta padak and the award for meritorious service in forensic science these are the four medals they were compiled into one that is Kendriya Grahamantri Dakshta Padak. Right? Take a note of this. Next. Then remember, this medal will only be awarded for the successful content, uh, conduct of significant operations, right? Which will have direct impact on the state or union territory or our country, or basically to counter terrorism or border action or prevention of the narcotic smuggling and other rescue operations. Right? Next. What is the name of it? Kendriya Grihimantri Dakshta Pada. And this award was constituted by combining four medals. Next, which metro became the first metro service to join ONDC? What is ONDC? Open Network for Digital Commerce. Which metro? That means now the ticketing process will be done through, can be done through ONDC. Right? And which is the first metro network? It is Chennai Metro Rail Limited. That is CMRL. It became the first metro to launch their ticketing services on the ONDC network. Right? And it became the India's first metro rail service to join ONDC. Correct? Next. Here you can see Chennai Metro Rail Limited launched their first ticketing services on ONDC platform. Here you can see the passengers of the Chennai Metro can purchase their journey tickets through buyer application on the ONDC network such as Rapido, Namayatri and Redbus. And Yari became the first seller-side technology partner from CMRL. 
नेक्स्ट इज बैंकिंग एंड फाइनेंस आई आर डी ए आई रिसेंटली रिलीज द गाइडलाइंस टू इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज ऑन द कवरिंग आयुष इन हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसीज आई रिपीट आई आर डी आई दे इशूड द गाइडलाइंस मैंडेटिंग दैट द हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज दे शुड कवर आयुर्वेदा योगा न्यूरोपैथी यूनानी सिद्धा होमोपैथी ट्रीटमेंट्स इन देयर हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसीज विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर राइट सो दीज ट्रेडिशनल मैथड्स ऑफ health insurance that means if you go and have treatment for any of the disease or any of the related disease they are uh, through these ayurveda yoga neuropathy unani siddha then your bill amount will be covered by insurance policies right so take a note of this then if we talk about irdi who is the chairperson devashish panda headquarter hyderabad telangana right so in simple terms remember health insurance will have to now cover the ayush related products that is ayurveda yoga neuropathy unani siddha under health insurance and for this purpose ministry of ayush constituted a core group of experts for the insurance sectors in 2023 next take a note of this and i have been talking about this for a long time there was a news around 3 4 months back that india's upi will now be used at the eiffel tower in paris and now it has been official right upi was formally launched at the eiffel tower in paris and npci tied up with the paris government so that and that too along with paris government remember they partnered with lyra network lyra network so that people can use upi on the eiffel tower correct to make payments there correct next here you can see india's upi was launched at eiffel tower in paris france for this purpose npci international the arm of npci partnered with lyra network that is a french e-commerce and proximity payment platform also Indian tourists can use UPI to purchase their tickets to visit Eiffel Tower. The announcement was made in the 75th Republic Day reception event organized in embassy in India. Right? Next, next is Thrissur Kerala based ESAF Small Finance Bank. They have announced a bankers partnership with Eldvis Tokyo Life Insurance Company. What is this bankers partnership? Here, when a bank becomes a partner of an insurance company. and the insurance company sells insurance products to the customers of the bank right so this is your bankers and esaf small finance bank partnered with ldvs tokyo life to offer insurance products to their customers moving on fitch ratings forecast for fiscal year 25 what is the fiscal deficit projected by fitch rating so it is 5.4% of the gdp i repeat Fitch ratings they have projected India's fiscal deficit for fiscal year twenty five to be at five point four percent of the GDP, right? The official budget or official target budget target was five point one percent, so it is above by point three percent. Mark this. Next, next is. Here you can see Fitch ratings or India's interim budget for twenty four twenty five forecast fiscal year twenty five fiscal deficit at five point five percent of the GDP. One more thing, remember, interim budget is the budget that is presented, right? Just before because we know that elections are going to be held, right? So a full fledged budget is not present. It is just a budget where an estimate of things have been told about, right? So it is not the official budget. It is just a budget. before because the election will held and new government can be appointed right so before that the budget that is presented it is your in term budget next next is awards and recognitions modi enterprise chairperson beena modi honored as the outstanding business women of the year 2023 as you can see in the picture dr beena modi is the outstanding business women of the year 2023 correct and the award was presented during the indo american chamber of commerce conference that was held in new delhi so important thing is dr beena bedi right she is the president and managing director of godfrey philips india and chairman and managing director of indofil industries limited correct and she has been named as the outstanding business women of the year 2023 mark this this is important 
then some of the brands that she created include bina fashion ego thai ego italian luxury and lifestyle businesses also were awarded next next is who has been sworn in as the chief minister of jharkhand recently there was an ed raid that is enforcement director raid on the current chief minister of jharkhand that is hemant soren and after which he resigned from the post of the chief minister of jharkhand and now champai soren has been sworn in as the new chief minister of jharkhand right take a note of this so who succeeded hemant soren champai soren succeeded hemant soren correct and champai soren he need to uh, he will be given 10 days to prove his government's majority right and the majority mark is 41 people should be along with him right so 10 days will be given to him to prove uh, prove his majority so who is the new chief minister of jharkhand now champai soren and champai soren also remember he is popularly known by the name jharkhand's tiger right and he is from jmm party and he is also one of the founding members of the jmm party next here you can see champai soren the new chief minister of jharkhand and hemant soren has resigned after the ed raid next is science and technology us state department has approved a 4 billion dollar sale of 31 mq9b armed drones and equipments to india i repeat us department of state has approved the sale of 31 mq9b armed drones and other related equipments to india the estimated cost of the deal was around 3.99 billion dollars that is roughly 33060 crore rupees the defense security cooperation agency of usa issued the required certification correct mark this then if we talk about this mq 9b they are manufactured by general atomics aeronauticals right and they will be in two variants that is your sky guardian sky guardian and second will be your c guardian these are the drones right these are the drones they can fly up to 40 plus hours and they are male or oh, they will they are basically hail not male hail hail is your high altitude long endurance high altitude long endurance correct next next is obituary padma shri awardee dr nitya anand developer of india's first oral contraceptive pills recently passed away i repeat padma shri awardee dr nitya anand the developer of india's first oral contraceptive pill saheli passed away at the age of 99 in lucknow up he was born in 1925 and he was renowned medical chemist and scientist and he was honored with padma shri for medicine in the year 2012 next padma shri awardee and veteran odia actor sadhu meher passed away as you can see him in the picture he was he passed away at the age of 84 correct in mumbai maharashtra he was born in 1940 in odisha he was a writer and a producer correct and a very famous actor who recently passed away next is state news radha raturi became the first women chief secretary of uttarakhand i repeat chief minister of uttarakhand pushkar singh dhami appointed radha raturi a 1988 batch ias officer as the 18th chief secretary of uttarakhand with this appointment she became the first ever woman to hold the position of chief secretary in uttarakhand since the formation in 2000 prior to this appointment she was serving as the additional chief secretary of uttarakhand and now she became the chief secretary of uttarakhand radha raturi succeeded sukhbir singh sandhu a 1988 batch ias officer who retired on 31st of january 2024 and she is also set to retire from the service in march 2024 so these are your important current affairs for the day friends now let's go for a quick one liner revision nrlps they sign an mou with barc international for economic inclusion and social protection of poor then indian navy declared the year 2024 as the year of civil uh, naval civilians MNRE issued guidelines for pilot project for utilizing green hydrogen in the shipping and steel sector. Ministry of Home Affairs instituted Kendriya Grih Mantra uh, Kendriya Grih Mantri Dakshata Padak by merging four medals into one. 
Chennai Metro became the first metro service to join ONDC network. IRDI released the guidelines to insurance companies on covering Ayush in health insurance policies. Then India's UPI was launched at Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. ESAF Small Finance Bank and LDV's Tokyo Life partner to offer life insurance products. Fitch ratings on India's interim budget 24-25 projected a fiscal year 25 uh, Fiscal deficit at 5.4% of the GDP expected in the budget was 5.1. So it is 0.3% more than that. Then Fitch ratings. We have seen this Modi enterprise chairman, chairperson Bida Modi, uh, Bina Modi has been honored with the outstanding business women of the year 2023. Champai Soren shown in as the chief minister of Jharkhand and Heman Soren resigned after the ED raid on him for the land case. And remember, Champai Soren will be given 10 days to prove his majority. Then US State Department approved $4 billion sale of 31 MQ-9B armed drones and equipments to India. Then Padma Shri awarded Dr. Nitya Anand, developer of India's first oral contraceptive pills, passed away. Padma Shri awardee and veteran Odia actor Sadhu Meher passed away. And Radha Raturi became the first women chief secretary of Uttarakhand. So these are your current affairs for the day friends. If the session was interesting, all you have to do is like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same. Doing this will motivate me to make better content for you in the long run. Now friends, let's move to some revision part that will be beneficial for your learning. Name the company that has recently launched India's first indigenously generative AI large language model called Bharat GPT that is GPT is your generative pre-trained transformers. So now the question asked here is name the company that launched India's first indigenously generative AI LLM that is large language model called Bharat GPT. It is core over dot AI. Even if you remember Bharat GPT, it was a tie up between it was between Geo and IIT Bombay, right? It was expected. Uh, it, there was a news also that uh, Geo will be collaborating with IIT Bombay students to set up this Bharat GPT. Next, which of the following Indian badminton players have recently won silver medal in the men's double of Yonex Sunrise India Open 2024 held in New Delhi? So what is that Indian players or what is the name of those Indian players? They are Swastik, Sairaj, Ranik Reddy and Chirag Sethi. Right, they were runner-ups. Runner-ups. That means silver medal. That is second position. Correct. And this was this Yonex Sunrise India was held in New Delhi from 16 to 21st of January. Next, which country hosted the Asian Football Confederations Asia Cup 2024 in January? It is Qatar. Right, Qatar hosted AFC Asian Cup 2024. Mark this. Next, in January 2024, Ministry of Finance hiked the import duties on gold and silver fines and coins of precious metals to dash from the existing 10%. So, for uh, the import duties on gold and silver fines and coins of precious metals were increased from 10% to 15%. Next, right option here becomes option 1. Next, which company has recently received the approval from the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas to establish a wholly owned subsidiary company for green energy and gas business? It is ONGC. Oil and Natural Gas Corporation has received the approval from Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas to establish a wholly owned subsidiary company for green energy and gas business. Next is Padma Shri awardee Leela Omchari, a musicologist, a writer, recently passed away in November. Question asked is in which year did she receive Padma Shri award in the field of arts? So it was in 2009. She received this Padma Shri in the field of arts in 2009 and she recently passed away at the age of 98 in New Delhi. She was born in 1929. Tamil Nadu. Correct. Next. And she also received the Kerala Sangeet Natak Academy Award in 1991. Next. 
Dhurba Narayan Ghosh, that is DN Ghosh, former chairman, that is the 12th former chairman of Dash Bank recently passed away. So 12th former chairman of SBI Bank, State Bank of India recently passed away, right? DN Ghosh, correct? He served as the chairman of SBI from 1985 till 1989 and he recently passed away in Kolkata at the age of 95. In Kolkata, West Bengal. Next, in November, Subarta Roy, the founder and chairman of Dash Company, passed away. So, Subarta Roy recently, and he was very famous for his company, Sahara India. Right? This company turned out to be a failure. But remember, Subarta Roy, the founder and chairman of Sahara India Pariva, recently passed away, and he is the founder and chairman of Lucknow UP. Correct? And he passed away at the age of 75 in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Booker Prize winning British author Dame Antonio Susan Byatt passed away in November. Her book Dash won the Booker Prize for fiction in 1990. So what is the name of her book? Possession or Romance. Her book This Possession or Romance won the Booker Prize for fiction in 1990. Correct? And she recently passed away. Her name is Dame Antonio Susan buy it next in november dash the former 18th governor of rbi bank passed away so subramanyam venkataraman recently passed away he was the 18th governor former 18th governor of rbi he was born in 1931 in tamil nadu next padma wadi and an eminent vitro retinal surgeon dash the founder of sankara netralya academy passed away so ss badrinath right ss badrinath padma wadi and eminent vitro retinal surgeon ss badrinath the founder of shankara netralya academy recently passed away at the age of 83 in chennai tamil nadu and remember in 2010 he became the first indian to receive the doctorate of science award that is honoris Kosa Award. Next, in November 23, Dash, Mr. India title holder in 1970 and bodybuilder of Manipur passed away. So, Nong Thombam Mai Pak. Right, Mr. India title holder of 1970 and bodybuilder of Manipur recently passed away. Next, in November, Justice Dash, first women judge of the Supreme Court of India and former governor of Tamil Nadu passed away. M. Fatima Bibi, first women judge of Supreme Court of India and former governor of Tamil Nadu, passed away at the age of 96 in Kollam, Kerala. She was born in 1927 in Kerala. And she was the first Muslim women judge to be appointed to any higher judiciary. Next, a renowned Indian violinist, uh, a renowned Indian violinist and Carnatic musician Dash recently passed away. So B. Shashi Kumar, a renowned Indian violinist and Carnatic musician recently passed away at the age of 74 in Trivandhpuram, Kerala and he was born in Thiruvalla in Kerala only. Next, renowned Gujarati photojournalist and Padma Shri awardee Zavirilal Dal Patra Mehta passed away in November. In which year did he receive Padma Shri Award in the field of literature and education? He received this award in the year 2018. He passed away at the age of 97 in Ahmedabad, Gujarat and he received Padma Shri in 2018. Next, which country has recently withdrawn from the Treaty on Conventional Armed Forces in Europe? It is Russia. Right? And remember this treaty was signed by 23 participating nations belonging to NATO and Warsaw Treaty Organization. It was signed in 1990 in Paris and it aims to stop USA from building up forces that could be used in swift assault. And Russia has withdrawn from this treaty recently. Correct? And the reason was because of Russia thinks because of the NATO's eastward expansion and it is a threat to their security. That is the reason they have withdrawn from this treaty. Next, which country has recently signed two agreements with India to boost youth mobility and cultural exchange? And we have done this question multiple times. It is with 
Italy. Next, in which city Al Dafra Solar Photovoltaic Independent Power Project, that is the world's largest single site solar power plant, has been inaugurated in November? It is Abu Dhabi, UAE. Right? In Abu Dhabi, Al Dafra Solar Photovoltaic Independent Power Project, that is the world's largest single site solar power plant, that is inaugurated in November. Next is UNAP United Nations Environment Program. They, has re they have released the 14th edition of the emissions gap report. Broken record temperatures hit new high, yet world fails to cut emissions again in November. As per the 14th edition of the emission gaps report, world must reduce the greenhouse gas emissions by at least 28 to 42 percent by dash year to limit the global warming to 2 degrees Celsius and 1.5 degrees Celsius, respectively, as per the percentage cut. So remember this. Uh, emissions the cutting of these greenhouse emissions by 28 percent or 42 percent should be by 2030 in order to limit the global warming to 2 degrees celsius and 1.5 degrees celsius respectively right and because of this we are seeing the rise in temperature the climate change and if we want to prevent it and slower the risk of the climate degradation then we need to achieve this target Next, which country's Angkor Wat has recently became the 8th wonder of the world? So, remember Angkor Wat is of Cambodia and it became the 8th wonder of the world. Next, name the international organization that recently signed an MOU with India to strengthen semiconductor supply chain and joint pursue innovation. It is European Union, right? European Union and India, they recently signed an MOU to strengthen the semiconductor supply chain in India. Correct? Mark this. Next is our homework section. First, Thanthai Periyar Wildlife Sanctuary recently located where? It was in news recently and it is located where? Next, Sea Cares web portal recently seen in the news is associated with which sector? Third, Mesolithic era rock paintings have been recently discovered in which state? Fourth, Digital Detox, an initiative recently seen in the news is associated with which state? And fifth, what is fentanyl recently mentioned in news? So these are your five homework questions and I need to see maximum participation of all the students watching this video. Do share the link of this video with your friends, relatives, cousins, neighbors and let them know about this interesting platform. That's all for the day friends. I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel, you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is seven six double seven triple three eight six two apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas 10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas 10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is nine six double seven double three three eight six two and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue